Hey, Mark. Yeah. 2016, I gave you my card. What'd you do with that? Dude. I meet so many people. Where, where, did, I, where did I meet you? The TCC South Campus. Okay. Was that was it, was that uh, was that out there with Eric Swalwell? Uh, I'm not the even sure. Form, I'm not even sure. Oh, yeah. But I'm gonna give you my information again because okay. you probably lost it. Yeah. I may, ha I may have. Yeah. Or I may have just not been, got in contact with you. I usually give them the staff. What's your name again? John. Did I just run into you on campus, or was that an event? That was an event. Was you were coming to you were coming to speak at the South Campus on Campus Drive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fort Worth. Yeah, you don't remember what event though. Y'all were talking about just politics. Okay, was that with another member of Congress? Yeah, there was a few of them up there. Yeah, yeah, a few of them with you. Yeah. And I need your help with something, but you never got in touch with me. Okay. Somebody on my staff should get in touch with me. The second you email me, I will send, I don't know if I can send the whole thing to you, I'll try, but if I can, I'll send the, the last page of it, which is the part that's important. Okay. Military. Yeah. Screwing soldiers over. Okay. Not that I had completely bad times in the military, but I was going to yeah. join for three more years and retire, uh -huh. and the recruiter, Darren Fortnett, yeah. basically pushed my hand to sign up for six years for fifteen thousand mm. dollars, I was like, "Okay, fine. I'll make my last reenlistment worth it." Yeah. And when I, when the day came to actually sign up for it while I was in Cuba, mm -hmm. he tells me that it went down to ten thousand. Yeah. So go and sign it. So after I sign it, I asked him, "When when will the money be in my account? Because I get direct deposit." Yeah. He said, "Exactly one year from today." Yeah. And I call. I get a hold of him on Facebook one year later. Where's the okay. money? Yeah. And he says, oh, the, they said a few days before you signed. You know, he, he talked to me the day that I signed, and then yeah. he said a few days before I signed, they said they cut off all bonuses. Really? Yeah, and he said the, the entity that supplies the bonus yeah. is a fluid system. Did you, um, did, you get, did you get something in writing, or was it all verbal? I, got, I think I got it on face, uh, not Facebook, on, yeah, Facebook. Yeah. And I think I've got it recorded somewhere in my, okay. my one of my computers. Yeah, yeah. But and I said, and my response was, well, "Well, that size fluid, so is mine. Cancel my contract." He said, "We can't do that." Yeah. So I ended up spending more than three years for for a contract that was bogus. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not. Good. And that shouldn't be done. Yeah. No, no, no. That's I mean, you make good. a contract with a soldier. Yeah, you, you're on, your side it. should be honored. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, John. I got to get moving, but I'll okay. look, I'll, I'll email you. Look into it. All right, I'll be I'll be around. It is. Congressman Mark Vesey, Texas, dash 33200. Keep coming in. Uh, Mark here. Uh, no, sir, he's not. Sure. Anything I would help you with? Uh, he's in D.C. There, it's in boats right now. Uh, but maybe... Sh you, you know when he'll be back? Uh, is there something I can do with him, sir? I'm Jennifer. I'm the director of Jennifer... Ward. Jennifer Ward! Yes, sir. I, I recognize your name. Well, in a good way. <laughs> um, good and bad. Um, you guys were supposed to help me on, on a contract issue, but the military told y'all couldn't do anything about it and it was apparently left at that and contract what are you military so reenlistment contract reenlistment contract right okay. that was not honored by the military but I had to honor my side which right. is not really a contract and I'd like to get that changed so nobody else has to do that and I would love okay. for them to still honor my end of the contract mm -hmm. I haven't let that go mm -hmm. okay. I think it's BS that they would do that to people Right. Okay. Like so if I tell you, if I tell you, I'm going to give you something. Mm -hmm. If you give me something, and we'll sign this paper, and then 
you don't give it to me and I still have to do my side, that's not a contract. Right. So did, and the congressman made the inquiry. What was your name, sir, again? I'm sorry. John, J-O-N. Okay. And so the congressman did make the inquiry on your behalf. Is that correct, sir? Not really sure. I talked okay. to him about it two weeks ago, though. Okay. About two no. weeks. I haven't. I don't. Okay. Why don't you come back here for me, okay? Okay. Just take a seat, please. And we'll just get you in there. You just talked and hasn't made the inquiry on your behalf. Is that correct, sir? Not this year, I don't think. Okay. Well, it won't change if we've done it once before. Let me just see what we got on you, okay? Okay. Because I want to make sure we did cover this. Ooh. And. Do you have any idea when he'll be back in town? He comes back to the district periodically, and he would actually be wanting to talk to me because we want to be able to, because he's out of the office and the district office in D.C. a lot, we want to make sure that we try to try to do whatever we can while he's not here. How do you spell your last name, please, sir? Usually the phonetic part helps people. Some it's people just don't get it's, it. It's spoken and it's spelled sometimes for me because I'm a visual and an auditory person. Okay, <laughs> you see, we did have a case in 2015, sir. Let me see. And exactly how far did that go? I mean, what was actually done? Well, what a member of Congress can do when in the capacity of their jurisdiction is they make an inquiry with the appropriate federal agency requesting a thorough review and given every consideration within the law to the constituents concerned. Can you overturn that answer? No. Now, the the answer that they hit, they gave, how long did it take for them to come to that answer? Even though it's a tr uh, contract in ink. Okay, it was just it wasn't exactly something that needed to be proven. I have a contract with the military that they did not honor. Okay. And that's what's upsetting. They say they can't do anything about it. That's like somebody on the street telling a judge, I signed a contract, judge, but I, don't, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> right. Yes, that sir, that ain't right, no matter who you are. I don't care how big they are. He, as stated in the response that was dated, actually received February 12th, it was sent January 30th from D.C. to the congressman's office, in, uh, district office. It referenced that you can apply to the Army Review Board's agent, the ARBA. Did you do that for a correction of military records? I don't even know what that is. Okay. Tell you the truth. Okay. Let me, why don't I do this? Why don't we go ahead and print this for you to have again. Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm, do not want to feel that I'm rushing at some point, but I was, oh, I'm, I'm no big was about to leave to go to an appointment. So I'm going to make sure that, don't, I don't want you to feel that I'm rushing you, though. I'm going okay. to rush because I have to make an appointment. I um, understand. But let's see, I can answer the question you had to ask me. Hang on a second. Okay. Let's see, received from you on December the 2014, and it was January... So the inquiry was actually sent out, here we go, December 7th, and the response was received February 11th. Let me get that for you. Okay. Now, obviously their response is they can't do anything about it. I, what if I don't accept that response Well, that's where you go to the board for correction. Let me get you that response. Okay. <coughs> yeah, you see, that's why it was three pages. They provided that to you. Okay. That very second paragraph, they've already, they've already perjured themselves on that part. It says, he re-enlisted in the Army Reserve on July 19, 2013 for six years. All right, that's part of the contract right there. They've already admitted it. Our research revealed, I don't think you can call that research, they didn't do anything. Sergeant Cheney was not eligible or offered the reenlistment bonus. 
What does that say in that box down there on the right? Yeah, we need to see what you brought in to us as well, too, because any information you did bring to us, we did for it to them as well. And if I was not offered or not eligible, why would they put that in the box down there just to get me to sign something and then snatch it away? That seemed wrong to me. And there, who knows how many people they're doing that to. And they just get away with it. That's like you being hired for this job, told you're going to get 30000 a year, which is probably a lot less than you actually make. Uh, and then you get $5 a year. And then they say, well, we can't do anything about that. Wouldn't that be wrong? Now, if I was going to sign up for six years for nothing anyway, this wouldn't be no big deal. But I was going to sign up for three years mm -hmm. and be done. Mm -hmm. And the recruiter, Darren Fordnett, mm -hmm. convinced me repeatedly that I was going to get $15,000 bonus. 15000 if I signed up for six years. So I did the paperwork. The very day that I had to sign, he told me it went down to 10000 mm -hmm. I recall that. Yeah, which is a bunch of BS. He said, go ahead and get it signed before it changes. Mm -hmm. This is the same day. Mm -hmm. After that, the same day, he tells me to wait a year. It'll be in my account because I get direct deposit. I waited a year. After that year, I got a hold of him on Facebook and asked him, basically, where's my money? Said, oh, if they said a, a few days before I signed, they said they pulled all bonuses. Mm -hmm. Now, if he's telling me it's going to be in my account a year later, after I already signed the paperwork the same day, why is he not telling me they pulled the bonus? I can't tell you what your recruiter would say, sir. Or, uh, again, but, but if that were the fact, doesn't that sound shady well, to you? you know, again, sir. I understand your grievances, I do, and frustrations with that. I just can't, I can't say what that's for. And again, I, I hear from other different individuals about recruiters that they're looking for their numbers and to make sure that they get that, okay? Mm -hmm. So I cannot comment in the sense of what That's the paperwork right okay. there. I'll tell you what we're going to go ahead and try to do. This was not provided at the time. It was, you provided an email going back and forth between a um, between a Melody Sin deferred. Yes, yeah, she's email. she was here at the time. She was trying to help me out. Here we go. Actually, here it is right here. I just missed it. But Darren Fortin is the the most important one. Enlistment documents. Fournette. Trying to tell me that page 11 of 11 of the contract is not really part of the contract? No, it is there. It was sent along with it. Yeah. See? Well, see, no, the what I mean, sir, is that the inquiry was sent with this documentation. Um, I, again, the congressman can make another inquiry. It's been 2015. Obviously, it's four years. We're possibly going to get the same response. But with this in, in thought process, that is the case. Then the only real recourse you would have, sir, is try to go through the Army Board of Corrections or get a legal representation. So, for us to go ahead and do that, are you still on Redwood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and keep this copy, but I do show that we had this to begin with. But I, just to be double sure, I, again, the Congresswoman want to make sure to make another inquiry to be sure, indeed, that information was reviewed, even though it was in here. Um, because we want to make sure of that for you, okay? Okay. Um, but I will preface it. It could be the exact same response. Um, now, obviously, I'm not going to go for the whole full 15000 since he finally said 10000 It was supposed to have been given to me, but starting out with 15000 that's, oh, and then to go down to ten, and then tell me all the stuff he told me, and then none of it was true. And I can't speak for him. I mean, that's best. I, I just know. Trust I'm me, you wouldn't want to readers. speak for him. Here we go at the very bottom. Please, sir, and I'm going to make a copy of this, or is this mine, sir? Uh, I'd like to keep it just okay. because no, of no, ink. No, 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 I saw it. Yeah, I can make a copy. All right, but I'll scan it, and it'll go in here. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.
but not even not even the bonus part the the, the structure of the contract itself why would would you accept an answer like that from somebody if they said if you had a, if you got an 11 page contract and 11 of 11 was not part of the contract you said would you accept that answer if somebody were to tell you that's not really part of the contract then why would it be in there to trick Again, me? There is a, I mean, I hear what you're saying. I yeah. do. I just, do. It just seems like it was there to trick me. I mean, why? Why would you do something like that to somebody? Right. And again, what we want to be able to do is go ahead and have that inquiry again sent with this document that's been scanned appropriately and is in your case now. If you want to, you can put a note in there to them saying, I'm not accepting that last answer. That was BS. <laughs> Their research oh, needs improvement. I'm happy to convey that by the congressman. I'm sorry, I do have to go. Oh, yeah, I understand. I, I am so sorry, but I'm glad you came in, and I will make sure to um, update you as soon as I have any information that once they receive, right. I'll go from there. Okay, sir? I look forward to hearing from you. All right, thank you, sir. Jennifer. Yes, sir. Put and your my seat card. Belt, put your seatbelt on and don't, don't speed. Yeah, oh, no. You need we, to be here to help me. We do the same. <laughs> <laughs> have a good one.